Here we have writer and director Adam Krauss, and I'm going to let him introduce everyone else. Uh, this, is, so this is DJ Cass, the director of photography, and this is Eric Hubelman. Uh, he was the real estate agent. So let's hear it for him, folks. And this is our first Wisconsin Red Film of the Weekend as well. Shot right here in glorious good old Wisconsin. Now, this is actually your third entry that we've shown at the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival. We had the fake trailer for No Place Like Home, which was the Wizard of Oz inspired a, ser a slasher film. Yes. And then two years ago, we uh, had, or was it last year? No, two years ago. Two years ago, it was um, Outbreak at Meadowbrook Park. Yes. So this being your third entry, what have you learned from those experiences to get you here? Um, well, going into um, Home Sweet Home, the biggest thing I learned from all my previous experiences was to um, not have me behind the camera and get a director of photography that knows what he's doing. And that's why I got DJ, because he's awesome with the camera. And um, so that's the one thing I took going into this film, and I think it paid off huge. I mean, it, I could have never, sh never shot that movie that cool. So. <clears throat> And I was also meaning to ask, did you have a bad experience buying a home? <laughs> <laughs> it was, um, it, it, this exact uh, thing happened to me and my wife. Um, <laughs> the exact thing. <laughs> you heard it first, folks. That was a quote. I'm the exact till going into the house and being murdered by psychotic <laughs> children. Um, but no, it was funny because um, the, we were looking at it for sale by owner home. Um, way out North Appleton, and we went to go take a look at it at night, it was, no one was living there, you could tell, and it was really creepy, and my wife was like too scared to even get out of the car, but I'm like, no, I mean, this is really cheap, I want to see, you know, how this house looks, and so I was out there looking, and I came back in the car, and my wife, who, uh, she does not like horror films at all, um, she's just like, I get back in the car, and she's like, this would be a really cool idea for a short horror film, and I'm like, yes, it would, so I always credit her for giving me the idea, and it's just funny because she just doesn't like horror, but she knows a good idea when she sees one, so. And how about the house itself? Because obviously location is key for a type of film like this. So how did you find the house to shoot, and was that challenging? Uh, n no. <laughs> the uh, good friend of mine, uh, Doug Hageman, owns the house. And um, when he first bought it, and I went and saw it, he had a party. Oh, he, it's up in Leno, Wisconsin. Um, I went to the house and I, I, I immediately told myself I wanted to short some horror film there. We actually shot the uh, No Place Like Home trailer there too. It's just it's just big house and uh, a lot of it's unfinished and it's just it's really creepy and it just gives me a creepy vibe. So and Doug's really cool and he was totally down with like letting a whole crew come there for a weekend and, and shoot and, and he was well he was the sound recorder too so he actually took part in it too. So. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to shout them out. It's a little dark, so we can't necessarily see hands. So shout them out if you have them. Otherwise, we're going to keep having this conversation. <laughs> anyone have anything to ask? Guys, don't be a shy crowd. How much research? Uh, no, I don't. I, this was my test t-shirt. Um, <laughs> let's boo him for that. Let's boo him right now for that. I want to make sure they turned out cool, and I got it, and I'm like, that's really cool. So I ordered some more for like the cast and crew, and um, no, but I do not. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, well, I met Adam at UW Oshkosh uh, Film School. Uh, I'm originally from the La Crosse area, and uh, we met and had worked on a few projects together um, at UWO, and then. Uh, he ended up moving to Green Bay, which is where I live now. Um, I work as a photographer and cinematographer there. And uh, he kind of brought up the idea of shooting a movie with him. And I was like, yep, doesn't matter what it is, I'm in. <laughs> so uh, once he showed me the script, I was like, I haven't seen murderous children before, so let's, uh, let's do that thing. <laughs> and, uh, that's how it happened. And what sort of challenges did you face, technically speaking? Um, limited time, budget, and crew. And what, <laughs> was the, what was the time of the shoot? How many days? Uh, Three days, um, well, two and two and a half days really. One full day and then two half days. So. But I mean, other than that, everything was great. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> everything. Yeah. But I mean, like, uh, you know, we got a perfect location to shoot at, and uh, Adam was awesome, and the, he put so much blood, sweat, tears, everything into the whole thing. So just, you know, going from a ceiling of an idea to projected here is kind of cool to see for Adam. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And Eric, you played the zombie, the uh, the nurse zombie in 
Yes, thank you. <laughs> Outbreak from Meadowbrook Park, and which obviously you had maybe some groans in that, some <laughs> exhales of the breath. And then you have obviously a lot of dialogue. So how was it for you to go from undead, you know, gut eater to having some words? It was good. It was a challenge just because I'm hard on myself and no matter what I do. So just then I have children at home, full-time job, so that was my homework per se every night to learn. I read the script, I think, three times every night before I went to bed and learned. And I mean, if you could see, it was my first real, like, you know, dialogue in a film, which nerves you could probably see in some of the dialogue. But so it was a great learning experience. I mean, I appreciate Adam giving me, you know, that big of a role to do in the film and being a part of it, you know, and then being able to go on the big screen again with dialogue. So it was a great learning experience. I've always wanted to be, <clears throat> growing up in films, I've had extra parts, you know, that's been my dream to be an actor in life. I've never pursued it, never got to go, and so it's cool, but it's, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and with the other cast, now with children is something that you don't, I mean, you see it quite often in films. Independent films, maybe not so much, because I'm sure it is a challenge. How was it working with children actors? Um, well, the um, the boy, as he's referred to in the film, the one that's wielding the bat with the ice skate blade on it, is my nephew. Um, <laughs> and uh, he's, it, it's fun, when I first saw the idea for this, like, he was like super excited, like, yeah, let's, let's do a scary movie. And now he's a freshman in high school, and he's entered this phase where like he's not excited at all. Like he's just like, mm, yeah. Cool. Um, but no, so it, it was it was very convenient having my nephew Dylan do it because, like I said, it's I, I had him in mind all the time, and he's just like, I don't have to say anything, right? I'm like, no. So he's just like, all right, I'll do it. But then the young the young one, um, that was more of a challenge. Uh, we went through the, uh, well, our lead actress, um, Heather Arndt, um, she runs the Bell Agency, which is a casting agency out of Green Bay. And so when I was having trouble casting the, the smaller Casper, as he is in the film, um, I went to her and within, I think like within five hours, she had Benjamin, who played Casper for me. And um, it just worked out perfect because she sent me the picture and he looked identical to Dylan. Like it could have been like Dylan's younger brother. So we're like, yeah, let's do it. And, his father brought him to the set, and they were great to work with. It was crazy that day, but they were so patient with us, and uh, we got him in and out of there. And um, yeah, it was it worked out really well. Excellent. Now, does anyone have any other questions before I ask one final one? Don't be bashful. Yes. Is the Meadowbrook Park available on YouTube? Because that stood out to me. Was it a year or two ago? Two. Just two. a great one. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's it's been on YouTube, uh, just under yeah, an outbreak at Meadowbrook Park. Um, yeah, thank you. Where, where'd you come up with the idea with the uh, uh, ice skate on a bat? <laughs> I'm asked that a lot. Um, uh, sure. Well, I, I got the idea, and I knew I wanted to do a, a short horror film revolving around this idea of a couple looking at a, you know, for sale by owner house way out in the country. I, I had to start thinking, what, what's the craziness that's going to be inside the house? Like, what, what angle am I going to take? And I decided to go with the children, and I have a whole backstory on them that. Uh, you briefly see in the film, but really you don't, it doesn't get touched on. And um, I was just thinking of, you know, these two kids hole up in this vacant house and they make a weapon out of, you know, stuff they find. And that's where I came up with the idea of Bat and the ice skate blade. And he's, he's, a, he's a crappy little psycho. And he just <laughs> taped that blade to the bat and away he went. So. So if that did not happen to you exactly? No, no, um, I never entered the house. I peeked in the windows and then I got scared and we drove. <laughs> now, the, the question that basically every independent filmmaker will be asked, anything cooking in your brain, what's next? Oh, uh, always, all the time. Um, I, it's, it's funny because I, I wanted to venture out of the horror genre for a while, but I, it's, and I don't know if anyone here can agree, it's, it's just like in my brain, like, <laughs> I'll struggle so hard to think of like an idea for a comedy, but in one night I'll think of like five awesome ideas that I'd want to do for a horror movie. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I, this is, uh, I, I consider myself a hobbyist, I mean, I, I don't pursue this full time, like, I just really love doing this, and luckily I know a lot of people that do too, that help me out, but, um, yeah, I'm always thinking of ideas, and I, I got one right now that, you know, I'd very much like to shoot within the next year or so. 
Well, we certainly hope that we'll have it back at another Oshkosh Horror Film Festival in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the cast and crew of Home Sweet Home.